I kind of want to make a fort in my living room since my husband won't let me turn it into a gym. I do that with my kids as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, have you ever thought about doing it in the middle of the street in Seattle? Oh, no, never did that. No? no. That's what they did last night. Actually, for like a couple of nights now. It's already descended into Lord of the Flies. Oh. But, and the first thing that they did was create walls. They literally got fences and barricades and they put up walls. They have uh, border checkpoints. Huh. Imagine that. So wait, <laughs> walls work? Just curious. Yeah. They work. It, it's going to be better without police, they said. Meanwhile, Rez Simone, who is the SoundCloud artist, because it's like a crappy sleepaway camp for unemployed hipsters and violent Antifa. So Rez Simone is from Seattle, and he was in a live stream, and he told people that anyone who is unfamiliar should be stopped, questioned, almost like stop and frisk. What? better without the police they said (laughs) but this dude's like not at all in any way accountable to any level of the public apparently there's also another warlord now that has emerged a challenger has emerged it's six blocks right there it's six blocks (laughs) and they are that's their their quote-unquote autonomous zone although seattle department of transportation has provided for them porta potties and they still have everyone's electricity and all that stuff you know so you know somewhat not really at all autonomous i wrote about this at danalash.com there's some good pictures up there too because you have to see it to believe it we are there that's where we are it's crazy the capitol hill autonomous zone is what they call it Chaz for short Which, yes, if you said, hmm, isn't that the name of Will Ferrell's character from Wedding Crashers and he's the guy who goes and picks up chicks at funerals? You're correct. It is. The Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone, a.k.a. Chaz, literally the first thing that they did was build a wall and uh, SDOT tried to remove some of the barricades, but then the protesters, protesters, air quotes, said no, and they rely on the water and electric from the city. And SDOT gave them porta potties. They they did not at all in any way seek to create any of those things to sustain themselves, but they did make a sign. They so apparently someone had the time and wherewithal to make a sign that says "Welcome to Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone," like a street sign. So they did that. They're also ex- extorting local businesses. One business owner, and I'm quoting screenshots at DanaLash.com, I'm a business owner in the area. My business was entered this evening by a group of six free Cap Hill participants who requested I pay $500 to help finance what they said was community security and protection. They said they will accept cash or Bitcoin. I I told them that I would prefer to pay in the latter in the hope that it would buy time. They're supposedly coming back tomorrow to give me digital wallet details. None of them actually had that info when they showed up. I'm assuming there's a leader or someone in the background who keeps it. Even $500 is going to be a big hit for us as we just reopened, but I'd rather pay that than ask for trouble. And then someone goes, I am also hoping they provide more clarity as to whether this is a one-time payment or a recurring payment and how often payment is expected. And then there was a fight. The de-escalation is apparently getting in people's faces and reminding them that you have guns. And there was a spray painting onto a building, and that ended up in in an assault. So they legit literally brought in, they have a warlord. It's a SoundCloud artist. I mean, there's your sleepaway camp. The homeless ate all our food, and a SoundCloud artist is our warlord. 